Welcome back, and today we're taking a six hour flight from Heathrow to Manama, Bahrain. This episode of Destinations with Dunks. We're live from beautiful Bahrain. Bahrain is an island country in Western Asia. It's situated on the Persian Gulf and comprises a small archipelago made up of around 50 natural islands and an additional 33 artificial islands. Centred on Bahrain Island, which makes up around 83% of the country's landmass, Bahrain is situated between Qatar and the northeast coast of Saudi Arabia, to which it's connected by the King Fahad Causeway. Visiting Bahrain would be incomplete without venturing into the desert. The Al Arin Wildlife Park is a nature reserve and zoo located in Sakhir. The park features more than 45 species of animals, 82 species of birds, and 25 species of flora, so it's a must to add to your itinerary. Manama Souk is a warren of narrow streets and alleyways emanating south from Bab al Bahrain. Here you can pick up everything from electrical goods, oud musks, spices, and shisha pipes. But the real reason to visit is to wander through the bustling streets of a market that still evokes the atmosphere of an ancient souk. Here you will also find Little India. Pottery is deep in the heart of Bahrain and amidst 4,000 year old burial mounds is Bahrain's biggest pottery handicraft centre. Visit their workshop and see the potters in action using the old fashioned foot operated wheels and baking the finished pots and kilns built into the nearby burial mounds, a traditional method passed down through the generations. They create beautiful pots and handicrafts of virtually every size and style imaginable from naturally finished to brightly coloured pieces. The region's full of great shopping malls and three others that I would highly recommend would include the Dragon City, Time Art and Oasis Mall in Jaffair. In 2004 Bahrain became the first country in the region to host Formula One. Over the last 17 years the circuit has delivered some of the most iconic moments of modern day Formula One from the duel in the desert in 2014 to the thrilling opener of 2021. Bahrain consistently delivers a spectacle under the desert night sky. A 10 minute drive west of Manama on an ancient tell, the majestic Bahrain fort stares out across the Gulf. Built by the Portuguese in the 16th century, it's part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site believed to have been the capital of the ancient Dilmun Empire. The fort is supported by a stylish modern visitor centre and an excellent museum where you can pick up a free audio guide. In Bahrain, alcohol is only available in hotels and from private licences for sale to non-Muslims only. Drinking alcohol in public is still illegal and being drunk can actually get you thrown behind bars. With 55% of the population being expats, there's a vast array of nationalities working across the kingdom from countries such as India, Thailand, Pakistan and Philippines with each having their own cultural hub for food, shopping and prayer, it really is a melting pot of diversity. The Al Fati Grand Mosque is one of the largest mosques in the world, with the capacity to accommodate over 7,000 worshippers at a time. Built in 1987, it is located next to the Al Fati Highway in Jaffair and has the world's largest fibreglass dome weighing over 60 tonnes. Besides being a place of worship, the mosque is one of the premier tourist attractions in Bahrain. It is open from 9 to 4 p.m. and tours are conducted in a variety of languages including English, French, Filipino, Russian and many other languages. 
Muharraq in Bahrain is known for its winding, narrow alleyways with traditional Bahraini houses. It includes housing which once belonged to a 19th century pearl merchant and on the waterfront, the arid forts date to the 15th century. My guide Khalid did a great job showing me round and we enjoyed local coffee, food and he provided me with a Gitra headscarf to wear so I felt like one of the locals. To book Khalid, he can be found on Instagram at katours.bh Bahrain is a rich country in the Middle Eastern region and its economy depends on oil, gas, banking and tourism. It is also widely believed to be the site of the ancient kingdom of Dilmun that many believe was the Garden of Eden. The Royal Camel Farm on the outskirts of Manama was founded by the late Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, uncle of the current ruler of Bahrain. It's a hobby farm, meaning the animals aren't raised for racing or for their meat, and there are hundreds of camels living here, all owned by the royal family. The Royal Camel Farm is not widely advertised as a tourist attraction, however it's open to the public every day until sunset, so you're free to go and take a look around, see the camels and chat to the farmers. Entry into the farm is free. The Avenues is the first shopping and leisure destination of its kind in the Kingdom of Bahrain, with a unique seafront location stretching one and a half kilometres, strategically located along the King Faisal Road. When living in the country, this was known as a regular haunt for Michael Jackson. The Bahrain World Trade Centre is a 757 foot, 50 floor, twin tower complex located in Manama, Bahrain, which was completed in 2008. It's the first skyscraper in the world to integrate wind turbines into its design and it currently ranks as the second tallest building in Bahrain after the twin towers of the Bahrain Financial Harbour. At the ground floor you can also find the Moda Mall which is full of high-end retail shopping. Thanks for watching and until next time.